Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So we are back and we're going to do a few things today. I got a, a few things up my sleeve and ready for today. So let's start with, uh, I have these, uh, let's start with our Steam setup here. So I do have a setup working and I'll show you with, uh, let's say something copper. Uh, even these will work. These are annoying. I hate these ones because they give you nuggets or something, at least the way we're doing it. There's probably a better way to process them actually. I didn't even look. Uh, let's see. So in smelting, you get a one ingot. Okay, that's actually not bad. But if you pulverize it, you get eight crushed uh, things, which I guess that's not bad. Um, but this is pulverized. Macerate, I think, is somewhat the same. Um, okay. And then, so yeah, you pulverize it, you get eight. So well, maybe it's not too terrible. Let's try it out here. Um, but you get nuggets. Oh, actually, there's something in here already. So this is probably getting low halfway. So this can definitely do a stack of 64 or something, but it gets kind of low. Anyway, so this goes ahead and it doubles it, I believe. So there should be two dusts here for the regular stuff. And then it takes the impure dust and it starts smelting it and then it puts it into this chest. So we'll literally be doubling the tin. Uh, underneath here, I've changed it all. Um, so we're using the small bronze uh, pipe here. And we have the pressure one still here because... Uh, the, the, the steam boiler actually does output, but keep in mind, there's a big but here, but the iron drum doesn't output. So that's kind of why I have that there later on. I might even get rid of the iron drum and get a couple more boilers and stuff like that. And that's actually part of what the episode today we're going to look into is providing a bit more auto automation when it comes to, uh, basically filling up the boilers and things like that. I have moved, uh, my, uh, creosote and charcoal well, was mainly charcoal production out here and uh, yeah so it's sitting there now and you can go through this I put a few in here but like you can see that this thing is very easily and toppable uh, so uh, yeah it hardly hardly uses a lot so probably an hour plus and it's been only like maybe a dozen or maybe a, I, I wouldn't know for sure but it's, it's been very little um, okay so let's put you wherever and let's go on to what we're going to do today. So I have a few things I want to do. Uh, first off, you can make a mana pool, apparently. That, that is something I want to try out. Why not? I didn't really realize you could do that. So you can make it with marble slab. And I think you can make a... I don't know if they'll let you in this pack. I think not. That's a mana pool. Normally, you can throw the mana pool into the thing and create it. But I don't think you can in this one. We might create two of them for fun. Just for the fact to see... If that's possible, but uh, anyways, uh, so marble slabs you need, and you need marble bricks, which I think we keep them all over here. There you go, and because we're gonna need regular marble for that. Okay, and we'll go ahead and make a few of you bricks. There you go, and I assume they have to be cut up. No, actually, they don't. Okay. There you go. So that's done basically for that. Cool. We'll, we'll do that in a, a couple minutes. There's another one I want to do here, which uh, let's take it off here and put it on the end here. And so you need mineral mineral leaves, which I've gotten really easily. You just They're in the forest, right? We, we've seen them around. Um, they're all, Basically, I think all of these are them, to be honest. So all these little... Uh, Circles basically on the map. Those are all the uh, the mineral leaves, and they're really easy to get. So there you go. Um, and then what we're gonna do with it? I'm gonna say oh, I'm a lot apparently today. Uh, we're gonna get some glass panes and one, two, three, four, and one aqua thingy mabopper over here for an example. There you go. And then, yeah, you're going to do that in your thingy mabopper. And then you're going to need great wood sapling times one. And then what else do we need? Uh, a bucket. Okay, starlight. So uh, let's see how we're going to do that. Let's get, well, a bucket, I guess. I'm like, how am I going to get a bucket today? Hmm. You never know. Those buckets are tricky things. Uh, so let's go and make a bucket here. we got the hammer in place. So that's good. And I think that's about it. We'll get ourselves a rocket thing here. I'm calling it a rocket. We're just going to get something with like a low purity. 37, 32. 
Okay, let's get the 32. These are really easy to get, by the way. Like I said before, just bedrock with your scanner and you'll find lots. Uh, so you can get it from here. We can right click here and we already have, oh, we have two buckets worth. Awesome. There you go. And then we'll just right click here. This is normally how you do it. You can see it's starting to fill up in there already. The tank goes up. Uh, so we, you don't really have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and make this. I forgot my wand. I should probably like leave my wand over here to be honest, but let's go back. And we're going to go and get our wand here. And we're going to use this to get back. And basically we're going to go and... Oh, I have one on the wall, I guess. <laughs> Probably at one point I had an extra and just left it there. But we're going to right click and it'll do the, the magic Nisma bopper. There you go. We'll click this and we'll make the tree one, which we're missing a bucket of starlight. So the whole point of this bucket is for the starlight. So... We'll grab one of the ones that we made. Here we go. And uh, we should be able to do the recipe now. There you go. And we'll do the wand again. There you go. Ta-da! There you go. Worked really well. Now, um, I want to let you know... Okay, that's doing its thing, so that's working fine. I don't know if it can do more than one bucket, honestly. I don't have one to move it around, so too bad. Uh, what about the teleporter? I was looking into the teleporter, and I was thinking, I wonder how to make one, especially since we got two more of these guys slightly. Okay, so you need the Ender Shards, which are okay. Rune Marble. Rune Marble is actually probably slightly annoying because, yes, I can find it around the world, but uh, you'd have to do a little bit more exploring to grab them, which is not a big deal. The Ender Shards themselves are made from the low co covalence, whatever, I can't say it. And Ender Shard. The Ender Shard is easy. You need an Ender Pearl, but you can get Ender Shard instead with an Obsidian Shard. You can pour an Obsidian Shard on a Shard Cast. Uh, to get that. So it's not a horrible thing. Maybe we'll look into it later, if not today. So we got the tree beacon done. Oh, did we get the mana pool? No, we did not get the mana pool, did we? We'll get two of them just in case. I don't even know how to fill up the mana pool, to be honest. I don't know... Like, usually you do the Bot Botania stuff, but I don't know if you do something slightly different because you have all the mana that we've been dealing with, right? So, yeah, I don't know how that works, to be honest. So, we'll we'll see. But what we'll do is we'll do two of them, I guess. I assume it does one at a time. Apparently making this is a little harder. I mean, it's got as much as it needs. It's got the skylight, and I think this crystal helps it. And I don't know all the rules and bells and whistles, but as far as I know, it should be helping. Maybe I interrupted it, though, when I put... Nope, never mind. Oh, and it made two of them. Okay, cool. So, I don't know. Like, normally what you can do is... Uh, this is outside of being able to use a bucket in this, by the way. I have no clue with the, the whole bucket stuff. But I'm going to show you... Um, or not going to show you. I'm going to attempt to see what happens here anyway. So, like I said, I don't think this will probably work. But you never know. Okay, bad idea. Oh, apparently it hurts you? Huh. I don't know why, but anyways. Okay, so let's put the candle back in the floor here, in the middle here. Okay, that doesn't work. So, anyways, what you can do, if you had mana in here, you can put this in here, and then sometimes it'll make you a better one. I don't know if that works in this pack, since they have a dedicated recipe. I have a feeling it might not work that way, but uh, I'm just letting you know how you normally fill it up. Um, I don't know if you can pipe into this. I don't know anything like that. So it's more like we made it, but we'll play with it later. Okay, so your magical Christmas tree thing here. This is actually really cool. Um, I already have it set up. And yeah, so I cheated. <laughs> uh, so the way this works, oh, some of the wood went flying, but this should collect most of the wood uh, with this uh, here. The um, We got the item collector, which is a, more of a powerful thing. I think you need stainless steel to get it. But I'm going to tell you how you can do it without it, and I'm going to probably build it off camera eventually anyways and show you how to do it. So take a bucket of water and just pour it like all the way here. Have it floating up kind of in the middle of the air kind of thing, like up here in a sense. And then when it breaks off and falls, it'll fall in the water. And then when the water hits to the edge, like see the water stops here, it can't flow anymore. Then use a conveyor belt to pull it off there and then put it into a chest and then ta-da, chest for example. But uh, basically what you do is you just build this up. 
you plant a sapling. I don't think you can do the saplings before. Like, you can plant them before, but I think if it grows and then you place this, it doesn't work. But the idea is you plant your, uh, you plant that, you plant your sapling nearby, and then you let it grow. And when it grows, it turns into this kind of this ghosty thing. Now, it usually has a cool effect, but the effect's not working for us. I don't know if it's because we're using Optifine or some kind of weird calculation. You know, like one of the, uh, the math calculations on here might be affecting as well. Actually, that just grew probably due to the fact I planted the other thing nearby. I think it might have screwed it up. But anyways, what I was going to tell you is usually they don't grow. It seems to grow one at a time, but that one works, so I don't know. Anyways, basically that's our wood collector. Like I said, right now we're lucky because we have the item collector. For you guys out there, you would probably would just do some sort of flowing water onto um, that basically the last block of flowing water then touches the conveyor belt. So it would fall onto the conveyor belt and then go into a chest. So I'll probably do some sort of setup off camera for that because I th feel like that's an off camera type setup if you know what I mean. Okay, so yeah, you can make this. Um, it's not too hard, but like I said, I was going to save that for later. Uh, I saw this arcane stone, and you can make it with this narco block kind of stuff. And it's actually with gold nuggets. So all we need is gold nuggets themselves. I don't know if gold nuggets are simple. Oh, apparently they are. So what you can do here, this one will look kind of cool because I saw it, and I thought, oh, well, I'll give it a try because I've seen it pop up before talking about it. So if you take this and you throw that in there... It should actually convert. So you know how, like, you know, you throw stuff in and it does stuff to. Oh my! Anyways, it converts. There you go. The actual fluid itself. I don't know what this stuff does to you. Does it have any effect? Doesn't seem so. But anyways, yeah, it affects the. Um, it converts it that way. So I thought that was cool. And then on top of that, you can make that into. You can make narco type blocks and takes one of those and you need uh, four of them, eight of them, I think, for whatever this is, this arcane stone. Just thought to make one for Thomcraft. You know, you probably need more than that later on. But I just thought, why, why not try this out and see how it works? So let's put another hole over here. Let's put you here. And let's try you here, you here, and there you go. So what else do we need? Uh, we're going to need, uh, this is just stone, I'm assuming. There's a cobble. Chiseled stone, stone. Okay, stone. And then we're going to need the fluid itself, of course. And this might have no fluid in it, actually. Yes, it doesn't. Okay, so we'll put you in there. And we'll put you in there. And then we'll plug our floor back together. Excellent. And then we'll get some stone here. Reason to make this? Probably not really a reason. It just looked like progression, something I could do. And I just thought, why not, right? So... That's kind of what we're going for right now. So, one, two. Oh, why can't I do a second one, my friends? Oh, I'm off by one uh, gold piece. So it's like, eh, kind of blended in there on us. There you go. So, there we go. So, we got the wizardy, narco, whatever. And then we can convert it again into one of these. I don't have a crafting table here. So, let's go ahead and uh, actually, good. I wonder if you can make crafting table to be honest <laughs> i'm like why not right okay and then you grab one of these let's just grab what we have the most of six of those oh there's 15 of that other one whatever uh and then we should be able to make it in this unless that's a certain special one it did the percentage so i think it doesn't matter but i'm not sure there you go it doesn't matter and then we made the arcane stone. So uh, this is probably more for later on need and want and use but it was more for like you know what it's there i wanted to do it it looked cool and you know that's kind of how we're we're judging some stuff today um just one of those days where we're just kind of going at it with all directions and just having fun see things like this should be down here technically um i'm gonna need some more materials anyways but i'm kind of just pouring things out right now just so we can uh get some rewards and stuff after too okay so, uh, let's see here. Oh, this is considered magic, so let's just dump the tree in here, too. I've been using you for magic anyways. Okay. Ta-da. Okay. So, let's check, uh, oh, Oculus Accumulator. So, we did that one. Uh, I'll take off the teleporter so it's not in the way. Steam Forge Hammer, I don't need another one. I'm going to need this thing here. So, we're going to need lead plates, lead, basically lead ore. 
Now, we have Galena somewhere here, but which one is Galena? Good luck. Uh, which one looks like Galena? Tin. That one up there, I think. Yep, okay. So this is lead. Uh, don't know how this is going to turn out. Wait, are you direct lead? Oh, you're direct lead. Okay. Perfect. This is what we want then. Okay. And yeah, we'll convert you. So we'll use our setup here as a perfect time. Let's check out our steam before we start. I just like this as my, my little battery. So we'll start, you know, here. And it's, you can put more in here, but I wouldn't right now without more steam production, of course. You're not going to get too far with that. So we're going to use this to make uh, fluid pipes. And I don't know if you can make a servo yet. A servo is usually very easy except this thing here. Okay, redstone in this. So you're going to have to do the ender shard, which is going to require the obsidian thing. So it seems like everything wants me to make that damn ender shard. Unless you go get ender pearls. Honestly, I don't want to be the guy who has to go kill an enderman right now. So uh, how many do we need for this? Two plates. We got it. Okay, so let's go ahead and smack those into plates. Oh, wait, we'll need more because those are three. Yeah, we'll need three in total for now. There you go, 6%. So it shows its progression, so that's cool. Yeah, so the servo will help you pull out items. I'm making this for a recipe right now. I was gonna do the Oculus Accumulator, but of course there is a use for that other one for later on, um, of course. So we're gonna play around to see what we can do here today anyways. So here's the lead plate, awesome. And so with the lead plate, we can go wherever we want with this. So what do we need? I'm uh, oh, sorry, we're doing these still. So small bronze and uh, hopefully it's the same ones we've been using, but it might be a different one just to annoy you. No, it looks like they, looks like these devs didn't want you to cut yourself as much. I think it was full glass, wasn't it? Thank you, devs. I prefer not to cut myself as much. What was the other recipe? Fluid duct. Same thing, basically. Okay, so there you go. We got those. No, no quest or anything, apparently. And then you got the Oculus Accumulator here, so we'll just go here and see what you're missing, which is going to be a lot, sorry. Uh, so wrought iron, redstone clock, I think I have one of these still around here. There you go, redstone clock. Uh, well, these things is magic, so I stored them over here. Though I don't think they're all there, to be honest. I feel like I'm missing one or two, but maybe I, I need to make more anyways. And then the wrought iron, which... We don't have as much as I thought, so we're going to have to make some more. There you go. You're going to need wrought iron for something else, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have one more task to do today. Pretty big task, in fact, uh, in my opinion. So it's going to be our final, like, final... I would say countdown, but I don't feel like saying the word countdown. Okay, wrought iron. Okay, so here we go. Um, there you go, Oculus Accumulator. So you have to have water around the Oculus Accumulator. So you place it down, and it pumps water to, well, I guess to the top right away, which is good because uh, output from there is probably the best way to do things in life. Now, we have this coming from there, so, I mean, right off the bat, you're going to have issues. Uh, you can always you can always put this in a different spot too, right? You can like you can put it back here and have like water sitting back here, for example. It, it doesn't really matter. Uh, just make sure that you open the back. So you'd have to no, that's probably not the back. This is probably the back, right? Yeah. So you'd have to do that to the back side of it, right? So if we go here, and hopefully that's the back side of it. It's touching it. But then you're gonna have to do water, right? You're gonna have to have. I think this has to have water touching on two sides minimum. So let's see what we can do about that. We can do our, uh, oh yeah, I know what we're going to do here. We'll just do ice. It's our easy way of doing water without having to make a mess. And then I need some cobblestone. I'll just grab you guys for now. Just to prevent the water leaking all over the place, right? And then we'll break this for now. And then we'll put, uh, did I not grab two? Oh, I don't know. I failed, I guess. There you go that there and we'll put that there and then we'll put you there and there so if I do this right this should start grabbing water from here and there you go it's already showing weird numbers so it should be filling up already here yep yeah, there you go so this is the oculus accumulator and you can put it underneath the machine itself as well right and then have the water more hidden or whatever but the way I have it I prefer it there 
This way, we know it goes directly in here. It doesn't use, if it does use this in the chunk or whatever, you don't have to worry about it lowering or emptying or screwing up, as well as you can use this to pipe it out as well, right? So we can use this and pipe it out into multiple pipes that can then go into this and feed it. So um, just uh, just another method of doing your water. Um, and then you don't have to worry about actually going in your steam pipes or something like that. Imagine the thing went into this. I mean, 256 buckets of water would be annoying. <laughs> okay, so we're going to move on now. We're going to get some brick and uh, brick in this, I think we're going to do. So let's get two of each, and let's get two of each again. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up here, and we're going to grab a bunch of these. Don't know how many we need. And we're going to put you in there, and we're going to get some clay dust and clay dust. I guess uh, these kind of just go very fast, apparently. Okay. They have no health to them at all. Okay. And then you got that, and then we're going to use up the rest of these, I guess. How do you make these? Uh, so stone, smooth stone, I guess. How much durability do you have? 256? This is the Oh, that's the bronze version. How much does a flint have one? 800. And how much does the, the bronze one has? 19. Okay, so it's not a lot, but it's still not as annoying, I guess. I was just thinking, should I even bother doing a... But it saves us some clicks, I guess. I think it might be smooth stone, actually. So let's get ourselves some iron out of here. There you go. I don't have a lot of iron, so keep that in mind. I need to do some mining it clear Ugh, clearly. There you go. I'll just get... Yeah, one for now. We'll see how this works. So we're going to break this down. And oh my goodness, it uses quite a bit. So yeah, I think the flint one would be the way to go here. Just because you'd save some flint. Or save some of the other stuff. Okay, so flint. And then there you go. And then there you go. So we'll put you in there. And we're going to do that the same to the bricks here. There we go. Yeah, once you realize there wasn't a lot of durability, it's like, yeah, I might as well have just kept what I had, right? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to look into making this fury, fairy, fairy, if I don't even know what it was. Fire clay. <laughs> I don't know why I was saying whatever I was saying there. There you go. Fire clay. Here you go. And fire clay itself then can be uh, compressed into uh, this fire clay brick. And then this fire clay brick can be uh, smelted over time. So let's go over here. And one of these is a compressor. Uh, compressor. And then we'll start compressing that. Now, unfortunately, it does take some time. We don't have any kind of magic to make it faster right now. But uh, it is what it is. Now, here's the question. Will it keep up or will it slowly drain? So yeah, it, it, it doesn't use much, so it, it can slowly uh, drain without, you know, having to worry. So this is to make fire brick, uh, fire clay, sorry. And this is to, then you're going to make it fire brick, so you're going to smelt it, which it needs smelt smelt, it says. It doesn't say you can do it in another method, so keep that in mind. So I guess we should put it in the furnace here. And I think the kilns and stuff like that, they would have to have a recipe to show you can do it in that. So I'm pretty sure you're kind of stuck there. So I wonder with the two running. Oh, uh, it looks like it's kind of breaking even-ish. Cool. Anyways. So we'll be just hand doing this for a wee bit anyways. <laughs> okay. There you go. And then we're going to make, uh, so you can make the fire brick. What we're actually going to be doing is, yes, yeah, so we just want one fire brick right now. So, uh, oops, what are you doing, Kane? There you go. Um, we're going to grab the fire brick now, and then we're going to work on this. And this is going to be our blast furnace, basically. I might not get it all done to this episode, like I'll finish building it off camera, just because, um, oh, actually, this might be done in a, oh, it needs to be done with this in a hammer. Okay. It's like, yeah, what are you doing? There you go. What are you doing now? What are you doing? Oh, creosote. Oh, you little bastard. That's not a that's not a big deal, but uh, it's one that I wasn't completely planning on. So we're gonna have to be a bit smart on this one because I've already 
I've kind of screwed up my creosote recently. So this is definitely one I'm going to have to do off camera, the the rest of, to fully build it. But uh, it's just like the Coke uh, oven, so it's not like a big deal, but it's for steel. I mean, spoilers. But there you go. So you have this one, but I don't have enough to even get a bucket yet. So, And I don't know if I can even pull out a bucket directly, so I might have to pull it out. Don't know yet. So we're going to have to just leave it for now and see what happens here. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Grab you, and then put more in there. Put you in here. Excellent. And let's do some other stuff while we're waiting on that. So we just need a bucket of that, which is fine. Uh, but we have other things we need. So we're done with this. We're done with that. Okay. So you need a couple of rods. We have the rods. We've made rods before. We even have screws. We might even have everything we need. Wow, that is pure awesome luck. And that is that a screwdriver? So we just need a screwdriver and the plate. Wow, that is actually insanely good luck there. Now we might need to make an exit point like this, though I don't think it asks for it. So no, because that's for the creosote. So actually, I don't think you do. Okay, so you can't pull out a bucket like this. So what we're going to have to do is pull it out with some other method. Now we have these pipes that we got. I want to know how to make these. I mean, everyone has them. You can get them, but uh, conduit binder is made from gravel, clay, and sand. So that's the same as it always has. The quartz, uh, the the glass here, though, what is it made out of? It's still the same, right? So the glass itself here is made out of same thing. Okay, is made out of sand and wow, that's easy. Sand and glass. So if we literally take glass. And then if we go and take sand out of here, when you put that in an alloy smelter, you can make that. And that's it. So the, these pipes are actually really easy to you make. They're not steam pressured. I wouldn't want to put steam through them, by the way, or you'd probably be crying when they blow up your face or something stupid. But you put this in here and you put your glass in here. And wow, it actually runs really stupid fast. and hardly takes any power, too. Wow, that is awesome. Okay. This is exciting. Sorry. Okay, put you in there and then put you in here. There you go. That is so cool. Okay. Well, this is going to work out way better than I thought. We're going to run over a little bit of overtime here because I want the whole stack. I mean, we could have just been happy with what we had, but I just wanted to make a whole stack here. Oh, there you go. Okay. So then we need clay, sand, and gravel, I think it is. Sand, and then clay, I believe. And then you can make your binder. So here's the binder, and yeah, there you go. So let's do a stack of the binder. And then what can I smelt it in? It says smelt it in. So honestly, probably best to just smelt in this thing. Maybe it'll work in... Oh, you know what? I forgot. We can use this thing. I forgot this is a big-ass smelter, by the way, if it works in here. Apparently, it does not work in this. Too large for the slot. What? Oh, okay. It does work in here. You just can't do it the normal way, I guess. Oh, and apparently, oh yeah, because I'm an idiot. It outputs. That's right. That's why. Um, because it duplicates them, right? So I guess they're too big, though. They don't duplicate that much. They only do double. Oh, because I think the max on these outputs are 60 something. Anyways, there you go. Some of these are going to have to be redone. Something's wrong with some of them. I don't know if it's a display issue, but yeah, you could probably go like this now. There you go. I don't know if that'll work properly, but... At least now we know how to make really elaborate fluid pipes. And that worked. Cool. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just get the rest of these made after. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, there you go. And then you can make as many of these as you want. Like so. So how cool is that, my friends? Cool. Uh, so going back to what we were doing before I got too excited about how cool that was. 
Uh, let's go with, uh, we can do as many drums as you want, but, uh, creosalt's good for later on anyways, but it's not like I need a bunch of it. Uh, let's go with something like this for now, I guess, just for the hell of it. Okay, so we're going to come out here, and there you go. It's automatically doing its thing anyway, so that's cool. Now, this is like the other one. It's going to be annoying, so you might want to let it release, and then hopefully it's exactly, okay, I just don't want odd numbers for later. There you go, and just automatically connect them. I know there's a way to do that, but whatever. There you go. Now it's gonna be annoying at first because it's gonna kind of fill all of them, and it's not gonna do the first one probably. I don't know if there's options for that, but whatever. You could probably go and say don't insert or whatever for now. Don't insert. Don't insert. Don't insert, and then just you know do your thing. Okay, so back to making this blast furnace. So if we go up to here, um, we did the brick yet? Did we do the brick or why couldn't we? Oh, no, because we, we needed this. That's right. Okay, so we got that. And then we can make the fire brick now. It's very little anyways, keep in mind. And then we can go and make this guy over here, which is... Apparently I don't have the hammer or a plate, iron plates on me. I thought I did have iron plates, but I guess I didn't. And iron plates over here. There you go. And there you go. And there you have it. You got Primitive Blast Furnace. And then basically all I need to do now is go to town and create a bunch of this other brick, which, of course, we're falling a little behind now because I got too excited about everything but what I was supposed to be doing. There you go. And, yeah, there you go. And then you just build it the same style as what we were already doing. So you just go ahead and you place it on the ground. And, oh, we lost the hammer. I was like, eh. Oh, you need to use a proper hammer. There you go. Yeah, same thing as before. Now, keep in mind, you're going to have to have, well, they'll probably tell you quest-wise how I many you need anyways. You're going to need uh, a decent amount. So, Primitive Blast Furnace. Oh, it actually doesn't care? It might be under here, though. Uh, Primitive Blast Furnace. You need 32 of it. So, I'll just... You know, like, you just place the thing. I'll show you here quickly. Oh, okay, whatever. We'll put it over here. And then, yeah, you do the same thing. And then you place this here. And you fill it out. I'm going to actually have to take it down, or at least the blast brick. Because I need it for the quest objective. Because the quest objective will require uh, the certain amount, right? But, yeah, that should work. And if you really want to, you could go like this too, right? So... You could say, okay, whatever, I'm too I'm too lazy to wait for this to smelt. So don't forget you have this option still of going over here and using this instead, right? So there you go, and there you go. Interesting. Now, if I break this down into smaller numbers, do you go faster? I think it might, but I can't tell, to be honest. It seems to be expanding number-wise, so... <laughs> I just saw a faster way to do it. I still don't think we'll have enough brick there where we had 50 and you get half of that. I don't think it's going to be enough, to be honest. So I got some here, though. So it's worth a try. Look at that. We're getting there, my friends. Okay. There you go. And then you grab all the ones that you see. Don't accidentally grab the wrong ones, of course. There you go. Don't know why we did that one. There you go. There you go. Spread them out and you get them better. The series has gone a little further than most of my, like, per episode. But there's a lot to learn and a lot to do. And so I don't mind that, of course. But hopefully you guys don't mind either. But, uh, yeah, there you go. And uh, you guys are done. Then we'll go and quickly grab you. And then we need a, probably another bucket of creosote probably after this. So there you go. And there you go. And honestly, we'll probably end up like having no hammer or something after this. Yeah, look at that. No hammer. Oh, that didn't work out well, did it? 
hate when you're like, oh, if we'll just move these around. It's like, no, no, no. 32 exactly. That that actually worked out lovely. Okay, so we're finished that quest. We can go ahead and one, two, three, one, oops, one, two, three, one, two, three. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know if you have to put like lava or anything stupid like that. I know sometimes some of them it's a bit different, but I don't know if this one is like that at all. Wait, is Blast Furnace actually one higher? Or did I make, huh? I wonder if I did something wrong. You know what you can do? You can actually go on here and look. It shows you how high it's built. Oh, wow, that's so cool. So it's actually built one higher than I thought it was, so. So we have to go up here. There you go. And then, oh, by the way, does it have to be filled with, I don't even know if it says it, primitive blast furnace, blah, blah, used to cook, blah, 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 steel in early game stage, although not being very fast, it will provide you a steel for your first setup. Okay. Does not say anything about, uh, well, actually, I don't know because you didn't look through the picture here. Okay. It doesn't look like, no. Okay. Just make sure it doesn't require like lava or something like that. So I guess the one that we had doesn't count. <laughs> there you go. So do I need to smell all this down? I might as well smelt it down. Don't know if I'm going to make all of them eventually, but... Or make another one, sorry. But I don't know if, say, down the road, you might use that material for something else anyways, right? So... Oh, look at that. There's some hidden down here. There you go. I just need one more anyways. There you go. Guess we're doing all of it in one episode. And next one, please. So do we use all the... Oh, yeah, we did. So it was good we grabbed the other bucket. There you go. Now, I don't know if you just put the damn stuff in here and you're done or not, but, uh, I mean, technically it should tell you right here. Uh, if you right-click, I think. No? Tells me you get coal dust. That's cool. Let's see here. So, you put iron in here, and you put charcoal in here, I'm assuming. And that does not look like how it's made, so... Yeah, I don't know how it's done, honestly, steel-wise. Oh, you know what? It might have to be charcoal dust or something. I know the rewards showed us something different, so... Here, let's, uh, let's throw all this into a chest. There you go. And let's go ahead and get our rewards for the episode. So magic, let's see what we did for magic here. So we did this weird arcane thing. Oh, they gave you 16 of them. Sure, why not? Um, there's something else in here apparently. Just don't know where it is. Oh yeah, the narco stuff. So you get some, you get some cookies out of that. Cool. And apparently there's still something else in here that we're missing. Ah, our tree over here. So, oh, there's a barrel void. Oh, there's barrels? Huh, Ender Utilities. I'll have to look into that, especially since they're offering you a void thing. So there's some kind of storage probably for that. Might be a little too early yet for that. Then if we go over here, you got your primitive last furnace. So you got some stone and cold dust. I'm wondering if it's the cold dust you actually use. And then over here, uh, for technology, we got the macerator up and running. So we get some glass dust. And apparently the steam compressor as well. Awesome. And then the next step is LV. So we're basically go going good right there. How is everyone else doing? Um, I'm at 19. Cool. So let's try with coal dust. I'm not saying this will work. I might have to play around with this. Yeah, this does not look like it's working. Oh, you know what it might be? I wonder. I don't know. It probably isn't going to be this. But I wonder if it has to be a different type of iron, like wrought iron. I don't know why I'm thinking that in my head, but I feel like it could be like that. So I don't even know if I have actual raw iron left. We, we had the raw... Oh, we do have raw iron in here. Okay. I, I really don't know. I'm going to have to play with this off camera, f sadly. Yeah, none of this seems to be working. It might have to be like the actual coal hole to run it. Because um, it doesn't seem to give you any clues here at all. So... To get started in blah, 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 under tab, primitive blast furnace. So it tells you to go here, of course. 
but it doesn't really tell you anything here. Blast Furnace, uh, Steel Ingots. So you can look at how you make Steel Ingots, but they'll show you the only one Blast Furnace. They're not going to show you all of them. So you got Iron and a tiny pile of coal. Coal dust, carbon dust, coal dust, carbon dust. Okay. So carbon dust, carbon dust is made out of, okay, you can get it from graphite, blah, blah, blah. What about coal dust? How can I get that? Steel dust, sorry. Coal dust, coal dust. So you can actually get it by a piece of coal and doing that, or you can pulverize basically all coal dust, it seems. So we're going to go try this quickly. Longest episode yet, but you know what? This is probably one of our better episodes for the amount we've accomplished. So I don't... Oh, yeah, that's regular coal, actually, so that should work. There might be other things you can use in it, but I, I'm not seeing it, unfortunately. So it is making it a little difficult to figure out, like, if I am supposed to or not. Um, so we'll try the macerator and see what happens here. I'm going to have to click fast because it's going to probably output before we can grab it. There you go. Oh. Damn. Crush coal. And pure coal. Oh, no. Oh, you can work with it, but you can't work in here, right? You can't do anything with that. Yeah. In pure coal. Yeah, it's just going to go in there anyways. What can I do with the impure? No, it doesn't look. You can make coal dust in the centrifuge. So I'll figure out what I need to do. I know there is a way, but of course I just have to figure it out. And I'll let you guys know once I get it up and running. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. And we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.